Good evening. <laughs> I'd like to thank everybody here uh, for coming tonight. On behalf of the Lima Senior Athletic Department, Lima City Schools Board of Education and Administration, along with Lima Central Catholic Administration, Athletic Department, and uh, Head Coach Frank Kill, I would like to announce that we will be hosting Lima Central Catholic August 30th, 2019 at Spartan Stadium for football. So uh, this is something that uh, is going to be good for the city. Uh, it's kind of a historic game. Uh, Lima, Sen Lima Senior and Lima Central Catholic have never played football. Uh, and on a little bit of research, uh, neither has Lima South, Lima Central. Uh, they never have played St. Rose or St. John's. So this is something that's I guess never been done before in the city of Lima, so it's uh, we're excited. Uh, some of the uh, background uh, information going in, we're going to try to run this like a tournament format. Um, after expenses, we are going to split the uh, ticket sales 50-50. Uh, LCC will be on the visiting side, Lima Senior will be on the home side. Uh, LCC will be in full control of the concession, so we're going to run this like a tournament. We're going to try to split everything 50-50, so uh, it's a great partnership uh, for Lima Senior and Lima Central Catholic. We play each other in all the other sports, uh, why not football? So with that being said, I'll turn it over to Frank. All right, this is, a, again, I think this is a great opportunity for our, for our two communities to come together. Um, you know, I mean, obviously the basketball has been a very success for the last, I believe, 17 years with the Lima Cup. And, uh, you know, obviously this next year, we, we both were kind of looking for a week one um, matchup. And, you know, between John and I, we were we were kind of button heads a little bit, what what, what was going to work well for, for LCC and obviously what was going to work well for Lima Senior because they, um, um, you know, they were looking. And, you know, the two schools right now, um, competitively, I think we can play with each other. Um, I think it should be great for the community. Um, I think these kids, they, they already know each other. Um, off the field, uh, so it should be a, a. We should have plenty of, plenty of excitement, plenty of uh, hype for Week One football around here in, in Allen County. All right. Are there any questions? Frank, is it partly driven by difficulty of creating schedule? Obviously, you guys have had some issues with that being an independent, and, and for John, that question to you too. Well, fortunately, we had a. Uh, unfortunately, we had a Week Three. Um, cancellation or drop from the schedule and our week one matchup took the uh, uh, week three so Spencerville was able to slide in that spot which then opened up the, the week one for us obviously being in a non-conference schedule for all 10 games we're always looking for for a good game for LCC and it's not always the best uh, uh, matchup when you're you know been a really prolific uh, football team uh, having a high power team not everybody wants to play a good team everybody wants to play those mediocre bad teams and uh you know, for two schools like LCC and Lima Senior to play each other, it should be a great game. Well, uh, we were supposed to play uh, week one next year, uh, Dayton Northmont. It's part of the two-year contract. Uh, but I was, we, were, we were still looking for a week three, and I was just going through uh, OHSAA, and I happened to see week one, and I'm like, hmm, let's see if we can get this uh, to go. You know, I contacted our athletic board of control and our administration, and they said, go for it. Uh, talked to Frank, and we ironed it out. And you know we will have to pay uh, the breach fee for the contract, but overall, I think it's it's a it's a great a great fit. So Northmont's also scheduled, and somebody yes. else is in week three. Then. Oh, so week three is still open. Northmont was week one. Okay, which they're not moving. Like yeah, no, no. Is attendance a factor for you? I mean, you can bring somebody in from Cleveland, and they bring six people with them. Where this is going to bring six hundred. I think that's uh, I think that's both the problems that we have when you're playing teams from outside of Lima, if not from the surrounding area, you're, you're always worried about that. You know, especially when football is kind of a, a big revenue sport for you, and when you're playing teams that are you know 90 to two hours, 90 minutes to two hours away, they're not bringing the fans unless they're a prolific powerhouse that has a great following. And you know, for two communities around here, you know, I'm I'm thinking that we could uh, pull a really good gate. Was there any hesitation because of the playoff points and LCC's several divisions below? Not at all. I think it's just something where it's good for the community. And, you know, I, I feel, you know, if we handle the rest of the schedule, I think we'll be all right in playoff points. So. Is the plan one year and fill it out or straight up one year period? I think right now let's just let's test the waters and see what it's like. Um, you know, if it's a, if it's a good – 
good game for both of us. You know, I mean, it's it's hard to tell. Let's not make the decision to write anything in stone at this point. Um, to me, I think it's a it's been a great relationship with basketball. Um, unfortunately, on my end, it hasn't been <laughs> lately. Uh, but uh, you know, but for the communities, it's been great. I mean, I think look back in 2016 when we were both really good in basketball, um, we had no issues on or off the court. So I mean, that's kind of what we're looking at here and trying to. Um, build something that uh, could be a plus for the entire community of Lima. Were either of your head coaches hesitant? No. No. Nah. I think everybody uh, was on board from the get-go. I mean, it was one of those things where, you know, John and myself met with uh, our administrations together uh, to kind of make sure this is what we want, uh, make sure this is okay for everybody, and that uh, no negatives, no uh, no hesitations from either either side. How long ago did you start talking about it? November 27th, I went back and took a look at our uh, text message, so. That's a great day in history. Yeah. <laughs> my, my birthday. <laughs> Part of it is driven by uh, finding opponents in the near region, and this might not be the time, but you guys know the answer one way or the other. What efforts are being made, or are there efforts Frank, on your part, to try to secure some league affiliation? And, and John, are you guys comfortable with your league, or might you hint at leagues that are a better geographic fit? I wish there was a perfect fit for both of us. I mean, obviously you have Lima Seniors. There's not many schools around here that are their size. And then when you're a you know Catholic school at our size, um, you've kind of already tested those waters at least once or twice in the last you know, 30, 40 years. Um, Change is hard to break, you know, in today's world of, of football, it all comes down to football points. And when you have a, a school our, their size and a team like us, um, it's hard to play teams. And when you were, you know, it's kind of one of the reasons why we were asked to leave a certain conference. And, you know, ultimately, I, we were the perfect fit for, for everybody. I think uh, to that point, tradition, you take a look at the only viable league for both Lima Senior and LCC is the WBL. They've had a strong tradition of being 10 teams. So it's kind of hard to talk about that change. But, you know, as of right now, we're very happy with uh, where we're at. I think the competition uh, is good all around. So At Lima Senior High School, a huge announcement coming uh, just moments ago here. Week one of high school football as Lima Senior is going to host Lima Central Catholic at Spartan Stadium. It's going to be on Friday, August 30th. The two athletic directors, John Zell here, joining me to my left, and Frank Hill to my right. John, I'll start with you since you guys will be the home team. Just talk about the thought process of getting LCC on the schedule. You guys had a team on your schedule originally. You were looking to fill a date. And what sparked Lima Central Catholic to come to mind regarding uh, week one of football? Well, two things. Number one is it's never happened before. And number two, you know, as a, you know, the athletic department's a business, we're thinking, you know what, this is a, this is a game that could sell out uh, Spartan Stadium. So whenever you have that, a chance to uh, gain extra revenue, you go for it. Absolutely. Frank, and on the flip side with you guys, you're a smaller school, meaning Division Six in football. I'm a senior's Division Two. Not necessarily high risk, but a lot of reward could come out of this matchup should the T-Birds be victorious. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we're always looking for playoff points, and, and if it happens to be that we get the W that night, uh, more power to us. But, you know, as John said earlier, you know, financially, if we can uh, avoid going on the road for two, three hours and, and not get on those big yellow school buses and pay for those and, trans and transportation fees, and um, if we could stay here in Lima and, and play a team across town that we've had – um, pretty good success with in basketball. You know, why not in football? I mean, I know it's a, it's a different sport. The ball bounces a little different, but uh, hopefully between these two communities, we can keep this uh, going. Absolutely. Now, in this day and age, guys, you have administrations you got to run things up the flagpole with. You've got fan bases. They're going to get wind of things and the like there. How was the overall reaction? Positives, any negatives on, on either side of the docket? I can tell you our head coach was excited, and I'm going to tell you our players are really excited. I mean, this is something that – no other player for Lima Senior has ever had the opportunity to do, and that's the way I look at it. And hopefully they can understand his, the historical aspect to this. But uh, our, our kids are pumped. They want to play those cross, the crosstown rival uh, T-Birds, and, you know, it, it's every rivalry. When I coach volleyball, my volleyball girls, who do they want to play? They want to play uh, Lima Central Catholic. So just something for the city. Uh, it's going to be great. Frank, same thing on the flip side. Oh, absolutely. I think our guys were excited. I mean, obviously kids are kids. You know, they're always looking up for the challenges. And, you know, when you hear people talk and kids talk, you know, they're, they're ready to, they're ready to uh, go out and compete. And, 
you know, it's been one of those things since I've been here for 17 years now. I mean, obviously, both schools have great you know, mutual respect for each other, but they obviously want to beat each other. And so, you know, obviously, football <laughs> rules the roost in terms of the world we live in. And, uh, you know, why not play them? And, you know, at least you know, we, we can be competitive in, at this level. Um, and I think we're really excited. It was asked during the press conference, is this something that you guys are maybe looking at long term or are you just going to tread the waters and see if it's going to just go one year at a time and maybe just be a one year deal just to help from schedule purposes? Uh, we're going to try it out just this once time, one time and see uh, where it goes. So no future plans, nothing in concrete. So, Frank, you're going to be the visiting team. That's going to be awful weird coming into the stadium now. Could you throw a little UCLA, USC kind of menage to this? Wear the home uniform, the red pants, the light blue jerseys to go with the Spartan gray, silver gray pants with the red jerseys? That would that look kind of sharp, wouldn't it? That's one of the things that we talked about. You know, I co our coach wanted to, you know, wanted to know if that was possible. And, uh, you know, really there's not a big difference other than one comes out of the north side of the locker room, the other one comes out the south end. So, you know, obviously sit on the east side versus the west side. Um, it, hopefully it's a night off for Frank Kill, but I'm sure it's never a night off when it comes to football. So, you know, it should be a, a great atmosphere, great for, like I said, our two communities. But, uh, you know, our two football teams are up for it, and, and hopefully you see some baby blue that night. Tell you what, it's going to be a great matchup. Friday night, August 30th, Spartan Stadium, 7 o'clock kickoff, Lima Central Catholic and Lima Senior. For John Zell and Frank Kill, I'm Aaron Matthews, WOSN Sports.